And then in the season finale, they reveal the whole thing was a dream. When the inspector wakes up next to a very young and very topless Cheryl Teagues. Oh. Even Pierce loves this show now? It's not Inspector Space Time, it's the American version, and it's a travesty. It's broad, obvious, sexist, and the timing is... Honey, I'm Dean! What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, Jeffrey, you are too much. <laughs> Why, I was doing some house cleaning the other day, Dina Reed style, when I realized, gosh golly, it's been ages since we had a dance. So, this Friday, we are going back to Greendale's golden age with an old-fashioned sock hop. <laughs> the health department requires you wear shoes. What a coincidence. Yeah. You're throwing a dance the same day the CDC is confiscating our drinking fountains. Well, placating students with a fun event. Classic bread and circuses. In ancient Rome, the emperor would distract the populace from their problems by allocating money for free bread and circuses. I've been making a conscious effort to get away from filtering everything through TV. I figured it's time I showed some growth. It's been three and a half seasons, is what the old me would have said. Aww. Anywho, it is a Sadie Hawkins dance, which means girls ask the boys. Oh, I love those. So, ladies, get out there and... Make yourselves useful. <laughs> so you're saying there's one day a year when women are free to choose their own mates? What is this, cave person times? Well, I have already started on a Sadie Hawkins banner, so this thing's pretty much set in stone. Well, then maybe I'll throw my own dance, one that doesn't conform to your oppressive gender norms. Give me a break. You think a dance can just be thrown together willy-nilly? You think I decide to just do a rainforest theme and buy palm fronds and rig the sprinkler system to... Hold on, I gotta write this down. Give me some more.